Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Peebles, founder of Core Balance Training, and today I'm going to show you some SI joint tricks for restoring alignment in your SI joint if it feels like it's out of place. And so we're going to show some muscle energy techniques for uh, potentially clicking it back into place or just restoring the balance and the muscles around your SI joint to hold it in a better place. Let's get right into it. The first thing is we'll do a general reset. So this is gonna uh, involve getting down into the hook lying position, having something between your knees, like a this is a trigger point massage ball, but you can have anything that's you know about this wide. It could be a tennis ball or um, a handball, or it could be your fist if you can reach. Um, but you're basically just going to squeeze your knees together as strong as you can, maximum force, and you might feel a pop in your SI joint, which would be in the back of your pelvis. What this is doing is by squeezing the front together, it's actually opening the back. So we're just using biomechanics to create gaps in the joints, or like in some cases, we're gonna be using it to realign the joints. So this is another way to kind of gap the joint. You're gonna get a stretchy band. It doesn't actually have to be stretchy. It's actually better if it's not stretchy. So a really strong stretchy band or even a belt. And you're gonna strap it around your thighs. And we're going to be doing the exact opposite motion. We're going to be pushing out. And so, like I said, a, a static material like a belt would be better because you're just going to be doing max force. Uh, I like to come up into the bridge a little bit if you know how to do a healthy, safe bridge and push out as hard as you can. And now since we're pushing out in the front, it's actually squeezing the back of, of the SI joint together, which is ideally uh, force closing the joint if it's stuck open or feels a little loose. And this actually should feel really good. If it's out of alignment uh, front to back, and I'm gonna show you something in a minute to address that. You would wanna address that if this doesn't feel good. Make sure it's in alignment front to back. So I'm just pushing out as hard as I can. I feel the compression bringing my SI joints together in the back. And you can also, if you want, you can do repetitions, um, but it's more about the sustained pressure that's going to achieve the force closure of the joint. So those first two techniques are more for just gapping or closing the joint, and sometimes it will pop back into place on its own. But if that's not happening, you might have to manually bring it back into place by, we're gonna use muscle energy technique to shift it forward or back. So. If you know that, say, one side of your pelvis is rotated forward, say my right side, and the left side of my pelvis is rotated back, so it's kind of like this, then we're gonna use the muscle energy technique to try and do this. You really need to know your body well in order to do this, and so you're gonna wanna know if one SI joint is forward and one SI joint is back, because what we do depends on that. And your body will tell you it might be painful if you do it the wrong direction. So if you know that your pelvis is out of position, you'll wanna know which side is rotated in which direction. So say this is your right ilium and this is the ASIS right here. Say that tends to be rotated forward in the anterior direction and your left ilium is rotated backwards in the posterior direction. If you know that about your body, then you can take this next step of trying to manually bring the, the, your pelvis back into place. So we're gonna get into the hook lying position. So my, in this example, my right ilium is rotated forward and my left ilium is rotated backwards. And so my pelvis is out of alignment. It didn't automatically pop back into place with the, those first techniques, so I have to manually do it. So I want my right ilium, since it's rotated forward, to rotate back. So. I'm gonna engage my glutes. And I want my left ilium to rotate forward. Since it's rotated back, I want it to rotate it forward. So I'm gonna engage my hip flexors. So hip flexors here. And in order to engage the glutes, I'm gonna grab the back of my leg here and I'm gonna be pushing into my hand with my leg using my glute muscles. And simultaneously, because we want the, the pelvis to shift on itself, so simultaneously, I'm going to be engaging my left hip flexor by pushing into my left hand. It's gonna take a little bit of concentration, but it's gonna be something like 
this. And you got to do strong force. Okay, so if your pelvis is potentially out of alignment, that could pop it back into place. And if you're doing it the wrong way, you'll probably experience a little pain and that's your body communicating to you. So maybe try the opposite way. So you would be pushing here, pulling here, and trying to rotate your pelvis the opposite way. Now I'm gonna show you one more way. This is my favorite way to realign and simultaneously strengthen an SI joint. And it's accomplishing a very similar thing, but uh, it's a lot less complicated. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna come up into the bridge as we did before. And then whatever side that you want to rotate back with your glutes, you're gonna keep that leg down and whatever side that you wanna rotate forward with your hip flexors, you're gonna lift up. And now I'm engaging my hip flexors with my left, pulling that side forward, and I'm engaging my glutes with my right, pulling it back. And this is essentially the same thing. It's a single leg bridge, and I'm doing, I'm providing a kind of a torque force on my hip flexors. Uh, if you experience pain with that, you can try it the opposite way, single leg bridge on the opposite way, and maybe that could feel good. So this is a lot about listening to your body. Um, this is about not only realigning the joint, but also restoring balance in the muscles around the joint. So I'm actually training and strengthening the muscles that would restore balance and hold it there. And it's about experimentation and getting to know yourself and taking control of your own body and your own problems so that you don't have to rely on other people or other interventions to be able to bring you back into alignment. Comment below if this works for you or if it doesn't work for you. Uh, if you find the information in this video helpful, hit that like button, support the stream, and hopefully it helps, and I'll see you in the next one.